Hi. Hi, hi, hi. How's everybody doing tonight? I'm doing good. So I got my mic right. Oh, thank God. Mic is correct. Now, let's see. The topic is, hold on. How other people view you. What? What's your impression? Come on now, think about it. What type of, what is the impression you give to people? What is your, oh God, my brain. I'm at the right. What type of impression do you give off? Does that work? How do people view you? You know, that type of thing. Good Lord, have mercy. Hopefully I can figure out how to type it later when I put it in the title. <clears throat> but yes, how do other people view you? What type of impression do you give people? What's your first impression on others? My hand. I hurt my hand today. And it sucks really bad. So I may randomly complain, so I'm very sorry in advance. Now, we're doing three options. I'm not going to do too many cards. I have a feeling I'm not going to be able to shuffle. I don't know. So the first option is the seahorse. Oh, I remember the seahorse. And it's really pretty. It's got some like blue fire opal. You know. Figury. Whatever. I don't know jewelry stuff. But yeah, it's got some gem on it. And it's really pretty. This one is a cute little Winnie the Pooh. Necklace charm. Can't really see it. Can you stop moving? Yes, yes. Me the Pooh. I love me some Pooh Bear. And then the next one is I don't have a chain for this one. Oh no. But it's a charm and it's it's a pretty little horse. It's covered in the really, really, really dark sapphires. It's really pretty. I guess I can't be taking it, so no chain for that it's a horse that's been set free. It's a free, free horse, a wild horse. Okay, so those are the three options. <clears throat> I'm probably just going to cherry pick tonight because of my hand, but oh, that look pretty. Yes, you can go to the timestamps below. I'm going to do the shuffle. Okay, good to check. I'm stop playing with the shiny things. I want to start with this one. Okay, it's not bad. Smoke, sorry.
before I get too tired. Whoa, come on, no, no, don't do it. That's kind of too much. Down here. My deck even feels smaller now. Okay. Let me cut this. That one. Should I put it out? <clears throat> Which? Nice card. I like that card. That card that makes me feel good. So depressing at the end of a tough cycle. Oh god, does it make me feel good to see that one? Oh, it's a nice card. I have a feeling everyone's gonna feel good about that card. I don't know why. People must be going through some shit. Whoa, 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 mother sucker. <laughs> I didn't even take any of them. How about that? Okay.
courage to say be strong and believe. It was like all that red is specific. That's all. That's all I wanted. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Of course, I always got cards in all the wrong places. Oh my god, that one's so thick. Oh, it's the Pooh Bear one, though. Come on, it's the Bear. Pooh Bear, please. He's pretty thick himself. I'll try to make it look pretty, but I don't know. My hand's broken. That's Pretty enough. Yep. Okay. I'm back. Let's keep it. Okay. So, <clears throat> pile one is this. Where is it? There it is. I'm terrible. I have no idea where the lens is. Yes, I'm that bad. Let's see. Yeah. It's a fire opal. It's a very pretty blue fire opal. Seahorse, I don't know, I always want to call it a starfish. And then this one, uh, it's the Pita Pooh Bear. It's just sitting, I think it's just thinking, fuck, hold on. I mean, um, one day I will, there, no, mm, there we go. I mean, I'm getting it. It's happening. Oh, fuck it. It's enough. It's a pretty little Pooh Bear necklace. I've had this necklace since I was like 10 years old. That Pooh Bear is very old and very dirty. It needs to be cleaned. And this one is got no chain, but it's a cute little charm for a necklace with, I'm trying to get you to see the sparkles. Can you see the sparkles? I mean, you can kind of see the sparkles. <gasps> yes, the sparkles excited me that much. Oh my God, you can actually see the sparkles. I thought I did. Okay. And it's some sapphires, some really dark sapphires. And this is the horse. Mm. Free. Free is rude almost. Okay. So option one, option two, and option three. You need three choices. Okay. 
Schnur in the it's bad. It's not a starfish. It's a seahorse. The seahorse. So maybe people uh, get the wrong impression of you. Okay, because I don't know. I can't stop calling it a starfish when it's a seahorse. So maybe people always think you're one thing when you're really another. Completely, completely different. Starfishes and seahorses. I don't think. I don't think they're anything alike. So. <clears throat> What type of first impression do you make on people? Oh, God, you're very hard to read. Very confusing. You confuse the shit out of people. You confuse people. Like, with that. And now I keep calling it a starfish when it's clearly not a fucking starfish. I mean, I might forget that it's a seahorse, but it's definitely not a starfish. If that makes sense. So I don't know why I want to call it a fucking starfish. Excuse me. So we got, yeah, you're like, I don't know, maybe you're not very expressive with your face, I would say. People think you're like stone cold. I don't know, you don't express a lot. Okay. You should kind of sit back and wait for things to happen on their own. So what would that be? Your impression of them is maybe that you're. You're very true to yourself. Show the world the real you. So, why do they not understand you? I don't know. But you're definitely stone cold and hard to read and very confusing to people. But I think in reality, I mean, two full moons. <laughs> Maybe you have a really big mind. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> but I mean, it's two full moons. Anyways, I see, but but Aquarius, so maybe you're an Aquarius too. Yeah, and the, we got the star over there too, so it's the minute Aquarius. And then we got Capricorn, so maybe you're Capricorn, Aquarius. We got two Aquarius stuffs. But full moon, so maybe you're very emotional. I mean, those things do live in the water. Okay, so maybe people, your first impression is that you're very stone cold, but in all reality, you're very, very, very emotional. Okay. And you're very, uh, yeah, like you're, yeah, no, they always get the wrong impression of you. This is the impression so far, and I'm pretty sure this is like the reality. Because I mean, like, they're the same color. They're pretty. I like those guys. So, self confidence. So they say you have some self confidence. They say you're very fucking foxy. And confidence, again, like, you're really fucking confident. Okay? What's your secret to, like I said, you can't figure it out. <laughs> this is so funny. Secrets lurk in the captive shadows deep in the woods. We got the woods over there. Well, we got the forest, which looks like fucking woods. So. And under that, it's the apocalypse. So maybe you got, like, a, a Scorpio in your chart. <laughs> Okay, but, um, I guess people always want to, it says reconnecting, so I think that it says it, it keeps people coming back for more, your secretiveness, so funny, let's see, anchor, book, Gift and melancholy. Okay, so what is this? Let's see. They see you as someone who's very, um, you can pick up and go. So hmm. they see you as, I mean, if they think you're foxy and you got a gang of self confidence, and you, my goodness, their first impression is that, like, you're very strong and you, you be what you want. Like, you do what you want. Sun, you got Leo energy, so you might be a Leo. And then uh, power again. Strong. I think you're brave. Got strong again. Okay, I think you're very brave and strong and courageous and confident. And wow, and everybody, your, 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 first, your first impressions on people are amazing. What people think about you is amazing. 
But then I see this little melancholy card. And I'm like, if you're so amazing, why we got this little sad card over here? So that's what makes me think that it takes me back to your emotions. Ow. Man. And how you're actually very deep and you just keep it to yourself. Okay. And uh, maybe you, someone with a very, very deep imagination, like, like a bookworm. You don't necessarily have to be someone who reads. Though you probably could, would, and do. I don't know. But uh, you're very dreamy. You like to really get lost in your imagination a lot. Something about it being a gift. Something's a gift. We got some treasure. Like. You're a treasure. I think you're a treasure. I think that's what it's trying to tell me. Because we got a treasure chest here. Yeah, under the sea with a bunch of gold coins. Let's get a good look at all those pretty fucking doubloons. Okay. Pirates. Doubloons. Ah, treasure. And then there's more treasure. So, why you're sad? I don't know. I guess you're going through something tough because it tells me over here that there's an end of a tough cycle that's approaching. So whenever I get this star card, it always makes me think of a wish and we got hope next to it. So it makes me think of like hopes, wishes, and dreams, you know, and a house. So you basically stay at home a lot and you keep true to yourself, you know. You are probably very courageous. You are probably all these things. But you confuse everybody because you keep all of the emotions over here and you never let anyone see them. So everyone thinks you're only these things. They must think you're just the stone. And the reasons why they think you're so stone cold, you know, is because you got so much self-confidence. You're, you're seen as very strong. And they, everyone's particularly sees that you're like a leader. You lead yourself. You do what you want. And then you have the sun backing you up. So people just kind of like, you know, does it brings fame and fortune. So, and then you got courage. It says you're brave, you're strong, and you believe. I guess you have a really good uh, belief in yourself, you know. But what do we got here? So maybe just because, like I said, you're very dreamy and imaginative. And something with books. So books is like, come on. I mean, do people really read anymore? I mean, I mean, yes, people read, but not like back then. So the book card's kind of like outdated. So it's like, I think it means like you, you distract yourself a lot with uh, with hobbies. Maybe something intellectual. It could be intellectual hobbies. But it brings you a lot of love, a lot of happiness at home. It's something you do at home. You might like watch a lot of movies, but I guess maybe just sometimes you'd be super sad. I don't know because of these emotions. Maybe you got a lot of oh, not a lot of Pisces. I always dump it on the Pisces. I'm so sorry, Pisces. This is Pisces. But maybe you got a lot of water in your chart somewhere. We did have what? What card was that? Something with that made me think of death. What card was that? Um, 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 um. Yeah, people really like the secretiveness of you. I think people really want to see if you're really stone cold. And I don't think you ever let anyone know. I don't think anyone's made it that far. I'm leaving it there. I'm not messing with tarot because my hand's too messed up. So that's all I got for you. Pile one. I hope you enjoyed. That it was fun. Good luck with letting those emotions be free. Okay. Oh my gosh, I got hiccups. Please, no hiccups. I don't want hiccups. All right, so group two. Oh no, I'm spinning. No, oh, I'm spinning. I'm out of control. Maybe people think you're chaotic. Oh my god, I'm falling over and everything right now. Okay, so there's the pool there. Here we go. 
there. Ah, oh, forget it. There. Where's the Pooh Bear? Think, think, think. Okay. So, what is your first impression on people? What do people. Oh, no, nope, I'm catching for cramp again. What is your first impression on people? How do people view you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Okay. A lot of a lot of these came out. You're you're a deep thinker. You hide your emotions. You have a keen eye. People might really like your eyes. Mm. Oh, you're a very committed, loyal person. But you're chaotic. You've got some chaos about you. So it's like, that's what they think. That you're an extremely deep thinker. And that you hide, you might hide yourself behind, that people might think you hide yourself behind a mask. You hide who you truly are to them. Okay, and but from what they do see, it's not, like this, it's not that they think that you're hiding bad things. They just think that you keep things from people. You're secretive. There you go. Because everyone sees you as a very type of loyal, committed type person. Trustworthy, you know? So we have Storm. Mm. Like piercing eyes, you might have, the people might barely, maybe you get a lot of compliments about your eyes, okay? You must have a very striking, okay, maybe you have a very striking look to you. Some type of planetary alignments going on in a birth chart that makes you striking. Ow, like lightning striking, yes. <laughs> that was a good one. So, anyways, ooh, Pisces. Hi. It says meditate and contemplate. So people think you're very peaceful and calm. Think you're very chill. And that you're secretive. Oh, and people gossip about you. Okay. So they think that you, well, I guess their impressions are wrong. That's probably why they gossip. Okay. And then they think, let's see, what's the other impressions we got here? People gossip about you. I guess they, I don't see you. I guess maybe you don't wear a mask and people think you wear a mask. That doesn't make sense. That's so stupid. Wearing a mask. But either way, we got some tainted, tainted uh, thoughts about you, ideas. So their impressions of you might be right. Maybe it's only this part that's wrong. I really don't know. This is just what, they, what your impressions are of people. It doesn't mean it's real. It doesn't mean it's a fact. Are their impressions are correct? We don't know. I don't know. So, you definitely enjoy being in bed a lot. You might sleep a lot. Like, a lot. And you're very good at letting go. So, let's see. They think that, uh... Oh, you're very good at letting go. You have some type of deeper insight. You have insight. Okay. You have the answers. Like I said, you have answers. People come to you when they need decisions. And they, they see you as someone who has answers. So you must give good advice. You have good insight. Okay? So the answers are there for those who look. So you must, like I said, you got some sort of demeanor. You must pay very good attention. Okay? And uh, you're very bright. People enjoy you. They, you know, impression or not. Yeah, they're very calm. You know how to just stop, rest, and just be, relax, you know? Take a breath, you know? People like to be around you. You're very calming. Very magic, okay? Stark, 
some red star over there too. Find one enchanting evening. Right, so okay, people must try to date you a lot because of this. Well, not because of this, but this card always makes me think of a birth chart. Not any particular type of birth chart or any particular thing in the birth chart, just birth charts in general. Just birth charts in general. So it's like Something about your birth chart stands causes a standout somewhere. So my guess is with your looks, because I said something earlier about it. But you must have an maybe you have a very inviting look. But well, we got light, lightning, so you're very exciting. Okay, but yet you're calm and peaceful. I don't know. People, th this is their impressions. They think you're very calm. Some people think you're very calm, and peaceful. Some people must think you're very crazy and chaotic. Some people think you're very soothing and relaxing. Some people think you're fake. This is why this card is here. <laughs> I'm understanding why this card is here. There's a lot of different impressions that you give off to people. And no one seems to clearly have the right one. Because of this card. Okay, but this is this blue right here. It's all sunny skies. These cards look like they belong together, you know. And you got the sun up top there. So this is like the truth of the situation. The truth of the situation is that you're someone who just sits around and sleeps all day. And you you have answers. You, you're a smart person. You must have answers. And you must have, like, you know, knowledge for people. You must have good advice and people do come to you when they need advice or whatever they look for you for they look to you for answers and maybe you yourself are at a crossroads looking for answers and you're sitting up in bed you know what I mean something like that like it ain't none of that but you are probably a very dedicated person you are probably very calm and relaxed and they probably are right about all this but not all of it I don't know, some of it. Who knows, right? But I got this I got star twice. Okay. So with the and with the with the with this card. And the moon. So it's silver the silver energy of the star brings good luck and serendipity. And fairy magic. And one enchanted evening. Okay, so people I think you're very, like I said, they, they, they get very enchanted by you. I think you, I think you wow people with your birth chart, with just your natural you, you know? You could be very, very good looking, very striking. Yeah, that's what it is. You must be very, something with your look. You must have a very striking look, straight up, okay? So like I was saying about being at a crossroads and looking for answers and sleeping, over here we have the card that says that, your hard work is paying off. So whatever you're doing is helping this happen. The end of a tough cycle is approaching. So something is about to let you know, let go, let go. There we go, let go is that. There we go. Control the pulsing pulsing light of the firefly and don't hold on too tight. So basically this is gonna end soon. This tough cycle that you're in. Right? Because we have the sun and we have courage. You have a lot of courage. You have a lot of hope. And you you, you might be staying home a lot sleeping. <laughs> and uh, courage and red rose, origins, remember your roots. Yeah, you're just grounding yourself. <sighs> Yawn again. <sighs> mm. Mm. So maybe you actually do magic. I don't know. But people think you might do magic. People think, yeah, people think you might do, yeah. They, 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 I don't know. You're, look, you're very striking. You, you, um, you put people off. There you go. What is that word when you throw people off their game? You throw people off. People don't know how to act around you, I guess. So they don't know what type of impression to have about you. I think you make people nervous. There you go. You make people nervous, okay? And I don't know. If you're a woman, something's telling me you give off damsel and distress vibes. <laughs> like, not that you are. You might be very, very independent, but you're, something about your look might make people, like, 
especially men, but even women, anyone, anyone that's, it'll make anyone, the, it doesn't even have to be an attraction thing, but it makes people want to help you. Like, people always want to try to come and help you and be brave for you and be strong for you. Like, come in and be your hero or something, you know, like damsel in distress syndrome, I guess. Some type of vibe that you got in your chart, probably, and it makes no sense to you why people always do it to you, but it's probably something in your chart. Like, I don't know, you're, you're, ba you're very wish. A lot of people like you. All right, okay, we're done gushing over you. We're done. That's enough. You're gorgeous, and you're going to get out of whatever funk you're in soon. But um, that's their impression of you. Everyone thinks you're real bright, though, and sunshiny, like bright like stars, bright like the sun. I mean, the sun is the star at the end of the day, right? So, and they just, everyone just thinks you're just perfect. That's so cool. Yeah, fuck. You're perfect. You're just a perfect person. Thank you. You can rest your head nice to know that. So pat yourself on the back. Stop feeling sad. Don't feel like you have to hide things from people if you are hiding things from people. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed. That's all I have. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, 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 ow. All right. Okay. Number three, pile three. Ha, ah, the wild sparkly horse. I can't get it to sparkle right now. I'm too tired. And then I just want it to sparkle. Oh, well. Something tells me you're. You might have some Sagittarius in your chart. Obviously. Okay, so people's first impressions of you are that you're very high maintenance. Straight up. They think you're like. Oof, put the pinky up. They might think you got a lot of money. That you you might keep yourself real fancy and that you use expensive. They think you're expensive. Green, lots of green. Something with your heart, though. You're good enough. Full moon in Virgo. So maybe you're Virgo. But people see you as something very green. Green is making me think of the heart. No, no. Is it maybe your heart felt? I don't know. Their first impression of you, though, is that you're very pretty. This one, because we got two girls with their eyes closed. Because they don't see you. Some something about not seeing. You can't see something. Maybe you don't see that. Maybe you don't see your beauty. Okay. True wisdom, and so people, they see you as very wise at making good choices in your life. Heart seek. See, see, I told you, something with the heart. Compassionate. Okay, people think you're very compassionate. There you go. Thank you. The card told me what I was trying to figure out. I knew something was telling me about them greens. Okay. So you need to, it says you are good enough and tread a little more tenderly. So something tells me you're not very nice to yourself, and people... Don't think you're very nice to yourself. People think that you don't see how beautiful you are. But you are very high maintenance. <laughs> so maybe you're an earth sign too. We do got Virgo here. And uh, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn. And we got uh, lots of green, like I said. So you might be an earth sign. And we got the tree of life here. That's more earth. But uh, you got a great heart. People think you got a really great heart. And maybe people try to take advantage of this heart. But I'm telling you that you're good enough. I don't know why makes you think you're not good enough. Retreat. So, like I said, with the eyes closed, maybe you run off and sleep a lot. But, um, yeah, high maintenance. There is, they say, yeah, that you run off. I guess when you run off, they think, they think you go off and spoil yourself. So you're very... uh self-loving, and you like to smell 
you like smell. If you have a thing for smells, you like to smell nice things. So maybe, I don't know, you like to smell soaps or lotions, perfumes. Pull yourself in the morning mist. Maybe, yeah, very high maintenance. I think it's very high maintenance. <laughs> money, the money guard. I told you, they think you got money. They think you some, they think you're bougie. Okay. Spinning. Maybe thinking you got all that money. And I mean, maybe you do. Maybe you do got a lot of money and you maybe you do wear a lot of things that make you, you know, maybe you are flashy. But you come off as very compassionate when you're kind, you know? So maybe you give your money to like charity and things like this. You're very strict to yourself. You're hard on yourself. You're too hard on yourself. People think you're hard on yourself. Yeah, that's the chatter around town. You're very big in the community. I don't know. People like you. You're very likable, okay? People have, like, you know, 10, 10, this is a 20. So maybe it's, like, double. Like, you're really, really, really loved in the world. And, like, these people... The tree again. So you're like most likely definitely an earth sign. Well, we do also have the sun over here, so you could be Leo. Could be a fire sign too. We got. So what do we? What do we get? So. Maybe you're a bit mopey. People think you're. People think you're down. Or maybe you're down in the background. I mean, that person's down too, and he's wearing green. What is up with all this being down? Maybe you're sleepy. Maybe you're sleeping. But their first impressions of you are that they could take advantage of you, maybe. Like you have your eyes closed, like you're naive or something. Maybe people try to take advantage of you a lot. Because, I mean, if you're a compassionate person in this world, <laughs> that doesn't really, you know, people take advantage of that shit. So maybe that just gets you feeling really hopeless about the world. Maybe you're feeling sad. Well, don't feel sad. The sun is rising, okay? Just remember your roots. Remember who you are, that you do have a great heart. And you are very compassionate. And you just need to be, you need to, oh, what is that, that advice that happens? Not, what is that advice that people say? You got to treat yourself the way you treat others. So if you're this compassionate, great person, then you need to learn to retreat more often and do that for yourself. Okay? So maybe you do do that. Maybe And maybe people just think, like I said, this is their impression. So maybe they just think you're naive and you're absolutely not. And they think you're naive because of this great stuff with your heart and your compassion and your kindness. But I don't know, something you're not feeling good about something. And a tough cycle is coming to an end, okay? And you've been working really hard on something. You've been making so many adjustments, you're like exhausted. You've been trying tirelessly on something, but it's coming to an end. And I'm sure it has something to do with you realizing that you're good enough. Once you realize you're good enough for whatever it is, I feel like you're going to get it all. Whatever it is you're looking for. Courage. So yeah, it's telling you to be brave, be strong, and keep believing. Okay? Maybe you wished on a star. Let's look at the star card here. Oh, maybe you did, because then we got the clouds, so it's kind of like confusion. So maybe you did wish on a star, and you thought it was going to come true, and you're kind of like wondering what's going to happen. That's so cute. Well, don't be so hopeless. We got the hopeless card here. Don't worry. It says you're good enough. That's the message here. 
you know, I came here to tell you impress- impressions, you know, but some, you know, you get messages too. These cards say what they want to say. You're the king of cups. If you're, if you're a woman, you're the queen of cups. You're the king of cups energy. You're the queen of cups. And if you're a man, you're the king of cups. You're a very lovable person. You got a great heart. So don't let other people ruin that. Fuck them. Okay. So that's all I got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. And you have a good night. What is it? Not that late. No. It's not. Bye.